Hey guys, so this is to talk about my camera troubles and how I am totally giving Kodak. Yes, Kodak, this is for you. So the camera that I was currently using and have been using for only the last past six months was the Kodak ZI6. Now, first when I got this camera, I loved it and it was wonderful. It did what it was supposed to do, but after six months, it broke technical difficulties and now Kodak is giving me problems with fixing it yeah so um, I did register it and everything and um, I thought that would be enough but they want proof of purchase in order to fix it or they're going to charge me so maybe tomorrow I'll give them another call and speak to them but um, I don't think they're going to fix it for free even though it's clearly like I'll show you the camera there is no damage to it whatsoever it still looks brand new actually I have the box everything in the box is still like wrapped up like it's still a fairly new camera and for spending a hundred bucks even though I did get it on sale a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars like during a recession you know every dollar counts so I'll try to see if I can demonstrate because sometimes it does it and sometimes it doesn't on what the camera is doing. Um, and I'll also go through a quick overview of the camera just in case you're thinking about getting the ZI6. Um, or a lot of people now are getting the ZI8 because they're slowly phasing this one out. But this um, one is one that comes with the USB cable attached to it and it easily uploads to your camera. The software that goes into your computer is already loaded into this camera. It has the view screen on the back, and it's very simple. It just has one, two, three buttons. So you're not going to get, you know, any great menus or anything. You can play back, you can zoom, and you can delete, and that's about it. That comes with this camera. Um, and zoom is not even that much. Um, other than that, it has a button on the side for the macro. This is where your SIM card goes, or not your SIM card, your um, your memory card goes. And that's about it for this camera. Here's your speaker, and here is oof, the port for, or the dock for your tripod. It records in um, 780p, and it takes AA um, rechargeable batteries, which are provided by the company. But they only give you two and they don't last very long. So after recording for 30 minutes, you're going to need to change the batteries. So currently I'm using the energizers in here because those are the ones that I have charged. But I do notice that this camera really doesn't work well with other batteries. And it does it more so with other brand batteries. Why is that Kodak? So right now I've turned the camera on. It turns right on. It's ready to record. And let's press the record button and let's see if it freezes. So right now, it's still recording. Up oh, four seconds. And if you look at the time here, it stopped at four seconds. I'm pushing the stop buttons to stop recording. And it won't stop recording. Or won't it won't turn off. I can do the turn off button because you just pull the slide. Now it's officially frozen the screen. So the only thing I can do now is remove the batteries, and that gets annoying. So I had to go out and purchase a new camera. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Now, I'll show you something. Or I'll show you for anyone who's interested or might have been looking at this camera. And this is what's made me fall off for Kodak for a while. It does come with a one year warranty. I will be contacting them because corresponding online, they basically told me no receipt, we're not going to fix it. So it came with the um, HD, you know, to hook it up to your, your computer, I mean to your, your TV or whatever. It came with the Kodak. Um, Impressions, media art, it's the program to load into your computer. It came with some more cords like this. 
Oh, I guess this was the wrist strap that I never put on. Okay, and it came with uh, the Kodak batteries. Um, you know, as you can see, everything is still basically brand new, never even open. So I'm like totally perturbed with um with them right now. So as I said, um, my plan is to try to reach out to someone on the phone and speak to someone to see if I can get, you know, some better results that way. Um, if not, I guess this is just going to go filed away under something that doesn't work. Or if someone wants to buy it for parts or think they can fix it or maybe they can convince, you know, I'll, you know, call me, work out a deal. Or send me a message, work out a deal. But as of right now, this camera really sucks. So the camera that I got now and the one that I'm filming on is the Sony Webby. And I'll be doing a review on that after I've used it for a while and I've checked out the software that comes with it. Bye ladies.